Hi there. Um, in the following video, I'm going to answer for you question one of the OCR Core 4 um, A-level paper, January 2008. It's another question on vectors. Let's take a look. It was question one. It was a four marker. To be honest with you, if something like this comes up, you'd have to be delighted with yourselves. It's a very, very easy four marks. How do I ever find the angle between two vectors? Okay, these are two vectors here. Well, I use what's called the scalar or dot product. And the formula for that is um, between two, uh, if I want to find the angle between two vectors A and B, let's say, I use the formula cos theta is the dot product of the two, A dot B, all divided by the size of A, uh, multiplied by the size or magnitude of B. Simple as that. Okay, let's define A to be I minus 2J plus 3K. Let's define vector B to be 2I plus 1J plus 1K. Defining vectors like that, it just means all your notation is much easier. What's A dot B? Let's set our work out really easily for the examiner. 1 times 2 is 2. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. And 3 times 1 is 3. And I get the answer 3. What's the magnitude of A? Well, it's the square root of 1 squared plus minus 2 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, that's 1 and 4 is 5. Add 9 is 14. So this is the square root of 14. Okay, what's the modulus of B? Well, it's the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. 4, add 1 is 5, add another 1 is 6, so it's the square root of 6. Okay, and you're pretty much done now. Very easy, just plugging into the formula. Cos theta is therefore equal to 3 divided by the square root of 14 times the square root of 6. So theta is the inverse cos of 3 over root 14 root 6. Okay, simple as that. So 3 divided by... Three. You should get the answer that theta is uh, seventy point nine degrees rounded to three significant figures. If not told, always round to three significant figures, and your answer is as simple as that. And you're not going to get an easier four marks in a core four paper. So make sure if this comes up, you absolutely get it fully right. Writing, letting uh, vectors be A and B and just writing the formula and laying things out like this, just make sure um, you don't make silly mistakes. Thank you for listening. I hope you found the following video useful in your revision.